Praise be to the Most High God. I welcome you all to this wonderful day. We thank God so very much for the gift of life. We thank him for protection. We thank him for his mercy, for his love, and for his goodness. Hallelujah. I give God the glory and honor for this wonderful day. I welcome you all, those that have tuned into the radio program. This is Global Radio, and I'm by the names Maureen Banda Muyinda, right here at 34 Linnell Circle, Bilirica Global Evangelical Church. We are pastored by Reverend John Baker Katende. Praise be to the Most High God. This is the Overcomers program. Uh, I really thank you so very much for being a part of it. Uh, I'm encouraged, I'm uh, strengthened to know that somebody's out there listening and somebody's out there watching via Facebook, via YouTube. May the Lord bless you so, so very much in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. And without wasting time, we are going to go into uh, today's program. Uh, we are going to pray and then we will share a word of encouragement in the mighty name of the living God. I just encourage you to share with your loved one, with a friend, and invite as many as possible. May, you may be your You'll be winning a soul. You'll be encouraging or strengthening somebody. You'll be saving a life by sharing this broadcast in the mighty name of the living God. Let's pray. Father, we give you glory. We give you honor. We magnify your name. You alone is God. You alone is able to do exceedingly, abundantly, above everything, Lord. We thank you for the gift of life. We thank you for this season. We thank you for the blood that was shed on the cross, King of Glory. We thank you for this program and everything that is in it that you've prepared for us. King of Glory, I pray that your might hand may be stretched out to reach those that I need at their points of needs, King of Glory, Father. May you encourage those, those that are discouraged. May you bring hope to the hopeless. May you lift to those that are cast down, King of Glory, Father, because you are the lift of men. I ask Holy Spirit that you take over. In Jesus' mighty name I pray and believe. Amen and amen and amen. Hallelujah. Praise be to the Most High God. I welcome you once again to today's program. Hallelujah. This is the day that the Lord has made in Jesus' mighty name. And I'm glad to be sharing the word with those that have tuned in today in Jesus' mighty name. Today we are going to talk about uh, peace. Peace, peace, peace. We are in a season of celebrating the birth of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. And many things go on. A lot of people travel. A lot of people prepare for family gatherings. A lot of people prepare this and that to make the season and uh, the day so colorful and so glorious to God's glory. Hallelujah. Praise be to the Most High God. But I came to speak about peace in this season. Hallelujah. Because I found out that most people lose their peace. I found out that most people uh, put themselves on tension because of this season, Christmas season. Everybody knows that all over the world. Everybody knows about this day. Praise be to the Most High God. So I want us to talk about peace. I want us to pray for peace in this season. I want us to pray for God to come and do what surpasses our ability. Because you very well know that in human being, all human beings are limited. We are limited to doing a lot of things because that is nature that we were created in. Praise be to the Most High God. So I welcome you. You can share this broadcast with your friends, with your loved ones. They can join us and after immediately after this radio program we will be in the church, in the sanctuary. We will be there for prayer and intercession. Remember this is a Tuesday. We will be having our, we do prayer and fasting every Tuesday and we will be having our prayers and intercession in the sanctuary. So if you are around Massachusetts, we are right here at 34 Billy Rica in Massachusetts. Hallelujah. 34 in El Saco, Billy Rica. Come and join us at Globe Evangelical Church. Your life will not remain the same. Hallelujah. This life is, is, is spiritual. We are spiritual beings. So if you want to overcome in the physical, being a, a, an overcomer's radio program, you need to know that you need to have that spiritual strength. And we can only get strength, spiritual strength, in the place of prayer. Praise be to the Most High God. When we pray and fast, we weaken this physical being, of which this physical being contends with the spirit, contends with the will of God. So when we weaken this, the, the the, the body, the last of this body, when we weaken the desires of the body, we strengthen our spiritual beings and we are able to overcome all challenges. We are able to overcome all obstacles in the mighty name of the living God. To our friends that will be watching this from Uganda, I have people, I have family there, I have friends. I love you so very much and I wish you a really, really glorious and uh, victorious season of celebrating this Christmas. And as a church, uh, where I also fellowship at uh, Jesus is Lord in Kampala. This Saturday will be our Christmas party. Please join in and uh, have a wonderful time with us. And again, on 31st, we'll be in Nakulavie. Those that are around Kampala will be in Nakulavie at uh, Zone 4. We'll be there with our 31st and the, our very, very pa pastor, my dad, my 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 bishop, Reverend John Baker Katende, will be there to usher us into the 2024, into the New Year's Eve. He'll be there. We are joined together with uh, 
Disciples of Christ Church. We'll have fireworks that night. We have a lot of singers that will join us, worshipers, choirs, and a lot of preachers that will be with us. So please be a part of us. Invite a loved one in Jesus' mighty name, and I believe your life will not remain the same in the mighty name of the living God Trinity. I welcome you. I see Trinity's own. God bless you so very much. I see my OB Matovu Stephen. God bless you so very much. I remember you very much. I know you. <laughs> I'm really so much humbled for being uh, for seeing you on this live broadcast. May the good Lord continue blessing you and using you mightily wherever you are. I know it's night on your side here. It's just the time. It's 5 p.m. here. Praise be to the Most High God. That shows God is power. So I'm talking about the season having peace of mind. We need the peace that surpasses human understanding to be able to overcome in this season and to make it to 2024. Because a lot of people, because they don't have peace, they find themselves in trouble. Some of them lose their lives because they are trying to fidget here and there. Praise be to the Most High God. So we are going to talk about peace. Hallelujah. What does peace mean? Some of us, when we hear the word peace or when somebody is talking about peace, you think maybe it means staying free from trouble, you know, stay having everything that you desire for life. Praise be to the most high God. But like I remember uh, some time back, I was sharing on this same program about peace. Having peace doesn't mean that problems will not be there. Doesn't mean that challenges will not be there. Doesn't mean that sickness will not be there. Doesn't mean that luck is not there. Everything might be present. But you knowing who you are and who you believe, the person that is going to cause you to overcome can bring peace. Praise be to the Most High God. You being calm amidst every challenge. We saw people that went through stress, stressful situations, situations that were really so tough, but they had the peace of the Lord in their lives. You look at Mesach, Abednego, and Sadrach. They, were, they, they, they went through fire, but they were at peace because they knew that their Redeemer liveth, like Job said. Job also was going through stuff. He lost everything. And the enemy attacked his health. But the Bible says that he made a statement that he knows that his Redeemer liveth. And that's peace we are talking about. Going through problems, but you don't let your problems overshadow you. You don't let your problems control you. You don't let your failures or your past or anything that seems to be negative to challenge you and put you down. Instead, you stand up even amidst challenges. Praise be to the Most High God. You stand up and strong even amidst failures, even amidst people who criticize you, even amidst uh, things that you cannot even explain. You remain strong and calm. Praise be to the Most High God. So that's the piece that I've come to share with you. You look at the man Daniel when he was cast into the lion's den, he had peace. Which peace is that? The peace that comes from the Lord because we are assured of, of, of we are assured of salvation from Him. He redeems us. He saves us. He delivers us from all the traps. It doesn't matter which trap you are in. It doesn't matter how poor you are. It doesn't matter how uneducated you are. It doesn't matter how unemployed you, ha you are and how long it has been there. Praise be to the Most High God. What matters most is knowing that, yes, there is a team, there is somebody that is come to, coming to rescue you. Praise be to the Most High God. Knowing that there is a rescue team that is on your side that is coming to redeem you, to deliver you from that trap when you're caught up. Praise be to the Most High God. Hallelujah. And today we are going to share uh, from the book of, uh, we will start with uh, John 14, verse 27. Hallelujah. We are reading John chapter 14, verse 27. Somebody can help me text write down for those that will just come and go through. John chapter 14, verses 27. If you do this, if you have peace in this season, a lot of people desire, people want to travel. Sometimes you don't even have the transport fares. You don't have money to transport you from one place to another. Be Just be, settle down, be calm. Be contented with what you have. Just know that your tomorrow will be better. Your next year will be better. Time will come and you'll do whatever you want. You might not be having the good clothes that you wanted to have for this season, for that particular day. Calm down. Hallelujah. Maybe you don't have those the, the good food that you wanted to have on your table on that day. Calm down. Praise be to the Most High God. Because once you lose your peace, just know you're, you're, you're opening, you're giving access to the enemy. Praise be to the Most High God. You're giving access to the enemy to come and torture you, to the enemy to come and spoil you, to kill you, because that's his agenda. The Bible tells us, in John 10.10, 10, that the enemy did not come, but to steal, to destroy, and to kill. Praise be to the Most High God. So just know that whenever you lose that which God has given you, you'll be open, giving access to enemy. You'll be giving him access to overcome. You'll be giving him keys to, to, victor, to be victorious. 
Praise be to the Most High God. Yet God promised us that if we overcame the world, we are also going to overcome. So tonight, I'm speaking to overcomers to have peace. Just breathe in and out you do, and let go. What you cannot do, surrender to God. What makes God God is because he does what men cannot do. Yes, your account is empty. Maybe it is an, in an overdraft. It's okay. Calm down. It will come to pass. Time will come when you have much and then more than even enough. Praise be to the Most High God. Let's read John chapter, excuse me, John chapter 14, verse 27. The Bible says, Peace I live with you. My peace I give you. Not as the world gives you, not, uh, not as the world, mm -hmm, not as the world gives do I give to you. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. Praise be to the Most High God. We see a lot of scriptures in the Bible that God is himself is telling us to not be afraid. Do not be anxious about everything. That's what the Bible tells us in Philippians. Do not be anxious about everything, but in everything, pray. Let the Lord know. There's a, song, a hymn that we always sing. What a friend we have in Jesus. Every na 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 na. All because we do not carry everything to god in prayer do thy friends despise and uh, uh, take it to the lord in prayer praise be to the most high god so most times because we don't no, do not pray that's why we are overwhelmed that's why we are anxious that's why we are discouraged that's why we are condemning ourselves that's why you feel weak that's why you feel like you know i'm disappointed you find a lot sometimes i speak to people and somebody tells you i'm disappointed i feel i'm weak i am lonely i'm very low i cannot make it praise be to the most high God. But tonight I come to speak to you that nothing should put you down. But in everything, never lose your position of prayer. It is through prayer that you'll have the peace that the Lord promised us. Because prayer is a weapon, is a tool that activates the supernatural. Praise be to the Most High God. It is the, the tool, the weapon, the magnet that attracts God himself to come and dwell in you. Because you're calling for attention. The Bible tells us in Jeremiah 33, 3, that call unto me and I will answer. Praise be to the Most High God. So if God gave us a mandate to call him, we need to call him. And whenever you call, he's there to answer. How does he answer? The Bible tells us Jesus Christ is the Prince of Peace. So if Jesus dwells in you, it doesn't matter what report you get. Because sometimes, some seasons, some days, some weeks, some months, some years, we get negative reports. Day in, day out, you're getting negative things. You go to the hospital, they diagnose you with something that is so scary. And you're afraid. It has taken away your peace. You cannot sleep. You cannot eat well. You cannot smile. Praise be to the Most High God. But I come to tell you that this season, one thing that you should not lose is your peace, your joy. And how, how are you going to maintain that? Because someone might tell me, yes, I also want to have the peace, but sometimes I fail. You have the power within you. There is power in built us that can help us to overcome every challenge, to overcome every opposing power, to overcome every obstacle. Praise be to the Most High God. By the way, joy is spiritual. Peace is spiritual. It is God-given. Happiness is mad-made. You can go to a party, you dance, jump, and you're happy. After that, that excitement will be no more. But the joy and the peace that dwells in you should be a constant thing. Should be present every day, every night in your life. Whether you're going through trouble, whether you're disappointed, whether you've made a loss, God remains God. Nothing changes God. He was not made. He's not made. He is, he was, and he will be forevermore. There's a, a song that I, I love so much. It is Minister Dunsim that sang it. That you are God, you are God, you will always be God. So it doesn't matter what you're going through, he is God. It doesn't matter where you come from, he is God. Hallelujah. It doesn't matter what you're going through, God remains him. He doesn't change. He has no rival, he has no equal. Praise be to the Most High God. So it doesn't matter whether you went without food, he's still the same. He's on his throne, he's reigning. So don't let anything, not even this season, not even the budget that you wanted to make, not even the money that you wanted to give to your family. If there's nothing, it is okay. I remember there was a Christmas that I spent without food and it was just a good Samaritan that God used, used somebody somewhere. And she brought me cooked food that day. She brought me rice. I remember she brought me a piece of soap. She brought me rice. She brought me charcoal. She brought me chicken and beans. I'll never forget that lady. 
She lives in Lusanze. Praise be to the Most High God. But I was okay. Why should you like hate yourself, judge yourself? And you know I've done, I've not done enough. Maybe I've not had the best job. Every one of us has a time and season. The earth where we are has times and seasons. Right now we are in winter here. Time will come, we will be in spring. By March, we will be entering in spring. By June, around June, July, we will be in summer. Again, it will change. You will go into autumn. Praise be to the Most High God. So there, your season will come. Just keep yourself at peace as you wait patiently for the Lord. That's what the Bible tells us in Psalm 40. Hallelujah. The Bible says that David said, I waited upon the Lord patiently and he delivered him. The Bible says our God is not a son of man to lie. Whatever he promised you is a yes and a may. It doesn't matter what people say. It doesn't matter what your situation is. Sometimes the life we live is totally opposite with what we, with what we are going through, with what the word of the Lord says about us. Maybe you got a prophecy and they said you're going to be a great woman, you're going to be a great man, you're going to make it. But you find yourself living a posit negatively. Everything about you is struggling. Even when you reach to a point and thought, you know what, now I've made it. You find yourself that things are not working your way. Things are not aligning themselves according to the way you expected them. The year is coming to an end. You had a plan. You had a vision. You wrote down certain things that you wanted to fulfill. But now this is the 12th day of December. Nothing has worked out. Not even a half of it. Not even what you expected. You thought some people would be there for you. You thought maybe you would get a deal, an opportunity somewhere, but it has not worked. Praise be to the Most High God. I come to encourage you and encourage myself tonight. Let's be at peace. Don't lose your peace. If you lose your peace, you're going to lose your life. If you lose your peace, you're going to lose your destiny. If you lose your joy, you'll not become anything. Don't let, not even, nobody can take away your joy. Not even your boss at work. Not even the customers, the clients that you meet. Not them. Have your joy. This is spiritual. Joy is spiritual. Happiness is physical. I can be happy today, jump down, but how about when I go back into my house? How about when I'm alone meditating about things? Praise be to the Most High God. So nothing and absolutely nothing should take your peace, should take your joy. Be at peace. Don't wait for tomorrow because you don't know where we are not assured of tomorrow. Maybe you're ending today. God forbid. I know you're still living. Because <laughs> the Bible tells us in the book of Psalm that uh, with long life, God will satisfy us. May that be your portion. You're going to live longer. Because I know people don't want to talk about death. You're going to live longer in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. But we are not assured of tomorrow. So live your today and be at peace. When things are not working out, it's okay. Sleep. Find some sleep. Relax. Surrender to God. Let his will be done. Because after all, you may lose your peace, you may run here, you may talk this, you may lament, you may cry, you may judge yourself, you may throw like point fingers at people, so and so has not helped me, so and so has not been there for me. But after it all, are you changing your situation? No. So if your words are not changing your situation, don't speak. If your actions are not removing the situation that you're going through, it is better you stand still. And let the battle be for the Lord. Let God fight and contend with whatever you're going through. Hallelujah. I welcome you all. I see Sister Rosemary. I see Brother Nathan. Hallelujah. I'm, Brother Nathan, I'm really so much humbled. I know we've walked long since 2018. You've been following. God bless you so very much. I see Sister Halima Mugide. Hallelujah. So I'm really so very much humbled. And others, Trinity and the whole team, I am really so much encouraged by you being a part of this broadcast. Hallelujah. We can invite and share with our loved ones. I believe people's lives will not remain the same when they get a word of God. Hallelujah. So if you are just joining us, we were, we were reading from the book of John, uh, John chapter 14, verse 12. 27 and it was talking about the peace that christ himself gave us why do we let the enemy snatch away our peace this was a gift a spiritual gift that the lord himself gave us but we let material things the things that will come to pass to take away the gift that the lord has given us today i want us to st stand strong i want you to reset your mind I want, to make, I want you to make up your mind and say, you know what? Let everything go. Let money go. Let um, wealth go. Let the houses go. Let friends go. Let relatives go. But my peace, I will have it. I'm going to hold on to this peace that Christ has given me because this was a gift that himself gave you. Hallelujah. This is, we are reading from John chapter 14, verse 27. The Bible says again, it is in red. Christ himself was speaking. If you lose your peace, you'll get sick. People's blood pressures are very high because they, once you lose peace, you give access to anything. You'll be diagonized with a lot of things. 
Today you're diagonized with hypertension, but because you're losing peace because of the negative report you've gotten, hallelujah, you'll find yourself that again, blood sugar is also in, getting into the same, it is entering that same circle. Praise be to the Messiah. You'll find yourself collecting a lot of stuff because of losing your peace. So I want us tonight to hold on to the peace that the Lord has given us. Praise be to the Most High God. Alan, you're most welcome. Let's invite and welcome others in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. Let's hold on to the peace that Christ has given us. You are not the first person, person to live on earth. People have lived before us so many generations. And generations also will live after us. We are not here forever. But don't let the things that are here on earth hinder or sabotage the peace that the Lord himself gave you. Don't let your job dictate how peaceful your life will be. Hallelujah. Whether you have a job or not, as long as your heart is still pumping, as long as blood is still flowing in your body, as long as you can see, as long as you are alive, hallelujah, that's enough. Because if you're still alive, you're assured that in time, the rescue team, the supernatural will come and deliver you. Praise be to the Most High God. You know that God himself is coming. He's on the way. Help is on the way. That is what the Bible tells us, that help is on the way. Sometimes we give up when we are getting close to victory. Maybe you gave up on something yesterday. Maybe you were about to give up on something today. Maybe this month, because the month is ending. You know, some people, you know, we are in the era where social media is everything. People are brainwashed by social media. People are, 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 are like controlled by social media. Because everybody is speaking this, people have achieved this, people have achieved that, and you've not gotten anything, you're still putting yourself down and you think, you know, I've not done enough. I want you to speak to yourself that I have done enough and I will continue doing more. Praise be to the Most High God. Have peace. Don't be disturbed by people's victories and testimonies. Just be happy and contented with who you are because what belongs to you is not what belongs to them. What belongs to you is special. The Bible tells us in Psalms, 130, Psalms 139 verse 14 that we are wonderfully and fearfully made. Whatever belongs to you is unique. You are a unique being. So don't lose your uniqueness with what other things are happening around don't let the storms take take away your peace. Don't let the fires take away your peace. Don't let the words, the negative words you're hearing about people, about you, by the people don't know you. It is only God that knows you and you yourself. You know yourself. So it's better you love yourself, accept yourself, believe in yourself, and be calm. Today I may not have a good dress. It's okay. When the right time comes, I'll have it. I remember years back, even some Christmases that passed, that I did not have a good dress for Christmas. And it was okay. Here I am, I'm still breathing. Some people put themselves on tension to get clothes for Christmas. And they lost their life that way. If you lose your peace, the enemy is going to play songs on your mind and he'll lead you astray. Praise be to the Most High God. You've seen a lot of youth. Because they want to show off, they want to wear designer wears, they want to do this, I want to happen here, I want to make it like so and so, the way I saw it on social media, I want to do it that way, they lose their peace. Once you lose peace, just know the enemy is setting a trap. The Bible tells us in the book of Peter that the, the devil is like a rolling lion. He's not a lion, but he's like a rolling lion. He sets a trap ahead and roars from here. When he roars, you'll get afraid, you lose your peace. When fear comes in, you lose your peace. And what happens? You start running around and as you, you're trying to run around, you'll fall into the pit that he has set up for you. Because that is his duty. Praise be to the Most High God. <coughs> Excuse me. So, don't lose your peace for anything. There's nothing that you can compare your life with. Your life is more important than the money that you've been making or the money you lost. I have a friend who wanted to, to lose her life, who wanted to commit suicide because of 100 Ugandan shillings. I did not have money by then, but I was forced to look for the money and give her. She did not know the worth of her life. Because somebody disappointed you, because somebody rejected you, it doesn't mean that you're wrong. It doesn't mean that you're worthless. It doesn't mean that you did anything. Sometimes we do mistakes and we learn through mistakes. It's okay. Continue with this life. There's still more and more things ahead of you. You have more years, more opportunities, and better people you're going to meet after. So don't let anything take away your peace this season. Remember I've told you, peace is a spiritual gift. Joy is a spiritual gift. We cannot buy peace from a shop. You cannot buy joy from a shop. You can become happy when you're hanging around friends. You can become happy when you go dance and do whatever you're doing. When you, you eat good food, you can become happy. But joy... 
Joy should be a daily thing that you have. Put a hedge around yourself and say, you know what? I'm pu putting a boundary around my life. Nothing is going to steal my joy. Nothing is going to steal this peace that Christ has given me. Because he has told us that peace he gives us. Praise, he lives with us. Praise be to the most. Not as the world gives us. Not as money gives us. Sometimes when you have money, you may think you have peace. Sometimes when you build the big houses, you may think it is peaceful. You think maybe when I go into marriage, I'm going to be at peace. When I get somebody that understands me, maybe I'll be at peace. But Christ, the peace he gives us, surpasses all those. It's not as money. It is not as the marriage. It is not as friends. Praise be to the Most High God. It is peace that is beyond words. Hallelujah. The peace that surpasses human understanding. So it has no price tag on it and nothing should be compared to it. Praise be to the Most High God. So tonight I want us to know that as we are going through this season, as we are preparing to celebrate our Lord and Christ, how he was born and everything, have peace. Because without peace you'll celebrate and also maybe you'll die after celebrating. Maybe let me go take booze, let me go to the club, maybe let me do this. Be at peace. If you don't have anything for this season, it is okay as long as you have breath, you have Christ. Praise be to the Most High God. So let's keep on holding on to the peace that the Lord has given us. Don't let anything steal your peace. The joy that God has given you, don't let anything steal it. Praise be to the Most High God. Mm -hmm. Our other scripture is coming from which book? We are going to read uh, the book of Romans. Let's read Romans. Uh, Romans, we are going to read chapter 8. I love this chapter so very much. It is a rich chapter. I think you all know the Bible readers. Hallelujah. Romans chapter 8 verse 6. I welcome you very much, servant of the Most High God, brother Isaac. God bless you so very much. I'm really so much honored to see you on this broadcast in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. If you are blessed, you can be a blessing to others by sharing with them. Praise be to the Most High God. The world where we are is uh, governed by a group of people and others. They have an agenda. They do things on purpose. There's a lot you see, because sometimes I sit back and I see, was this the Christmas season that I used to have 30 years back? No, it wasn't. People were at peace. We were happy during such days. But now, this season, you find that people are restless because of Christmas. People are up and down because of Christmas. People are doing all weird things in the name of Christmas. By the time Christmas comes, instead of worshipping, glorifying God, instead of appreciating the gift that was sent to us from heaven, you find that we are so much distracted and diverted from the major reason of this season. Praise be to the Most High God. And there is nothing else that the enemy tampers with apart from the peace that the Lord has given us. Hallelujah. So we are going to hold on to this peace today. Promise yourself and say, Maureen, I'm going to hold on to my peace. Maureen, I'm not going to lose my peace. It doesn't matter who is disturbing me. It doesn't matter who is sabotaging me. It doesn't matter how many arrows the enemy will cast at me. It doesn't matter which swords the enemy is going to use. It doesn't matter which 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 storm is going to arise. It doesn't matter how the, 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 the fire that is in the furnace. I'm going to hold my peace. Because we see all people that overcame in the Bible, they had their peace. David went through a lot of things, but he knew his Redeemer. He knew that the Lord was with him. If you know that the Lord is with you and you know his promises concerning your life, if you know who you are, I know who you are. By the way, you cannot brainwash me. You cannot influence me negatively. You cannot put me down with anything. I can just look, I can just be quiet and look at you, but I'll still hold on to what I know that I have and I am. And I hold on to God that I know, the God that created me. I'm not diverted by hearing somebody speaking negatively, somebody speaking this, and I also, maybe he has a point. No, let those points be there. But I know the truth of the word of the Lord. Praise be to the Most High God. Aunt Elizabeth, you're most welcome. God bless you so very much. I'm honored to have you tonight in Jesus' mighty name. Tonight we are speaking about peace in this season. A lot of things are going on. People are losing lives because of peace. The enemy is stealing our peace, our joy, which is something that is spiritual. The peace that the Lord himself left with us. Hallelujah. And when we lose our peace, when he steals our peace, we find ourselves in traps. We find ourselves in pits. Hallelujah. Look back. I'll, I'll go back, um, back home in Uganda where I come from, the place that I know very much. You find that because of people, people because they lack peace, there are a lot of accidents everywhere during this season. Have you ever asked yourself, why is it so? That there is a lot of congestion, a lot of this, because people are not at peace. They think, let me run this way, maybe I'll be happy this way, maybe I'll be at peace when I grab this and that. All those, I tell you, they don't have anything concerning your peace. Peace 
is within you and Christ gave it to you as a gift. It is a, you get to a point of understanding because after that people, they eat a lot, they, they drink a lot and they die in the name of celebrating, in the name of looking for peace, in the name of looking for that. That is all the devil that schemes that people are getting infected with HIV on such days because they think maybe that is happiness, that is joy, that is peaceful, it will make me complete. Praise be to the Most High God. But that's not it. Let's be at peace and abide in the word of the Lord. As long as you have a word of God, you have more than even what money holds. You have more than what food can, 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 can mean. Praise be to the Most High. You have more than what clothes can mean. Praise be to the Most High. You have more than what friends and families. Maybe somebody did not invite you for Christmas. It's okay. Be at peace. Be you. This race, everybody runs their race. We all have our lanes. Your life is not my life. And I always tell you, we are all different. We have different callings and gifts. And that makes our God look so powerful. Because nobody does things like the way he did. He created us. We may re I may resemble you. We may speak the same language. We may come from the same country. But we can never be the same person. You cannot be me. You cannot do what I do. And this is one thing that can differentiate us, the thumbprints. Your, your thumbprint is different from mine. That's why for identity, when you go anywhere in those big offices, they'll ask you to take the thumbprints because they, 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 you're distinguished by your thumbprint. It's so different from another person. You might be twins, but your thumbprints are different. So the same way, we achieve victories at different times. We accomplish assignments and things at different levels in different ways. So be comfortable with who you are. Love the person you are. I love the person I am. I make mistakes. I learn from my mistakes, but I love doing it the way I do it. And I'm at peace with it. Problems may arise in a season. I just accept that, yes, this is season. I'm going through this. I'm accepting it. And I'm going to stand still. I'm going to trust God. I'm going to do what I can to make sure I overcome. Don't do things that you cannot do. Don't try to jump in other people's lens. Don't try to do what other people are doing. You know, so and so did this. I have also to do it. You lose your peace. That's how the enemy is stealing our peace. The Bible tells us that we are reading in the book of Romans. Mm -hmm. Romans chapter 8. Excuse me. <coughs> from verse 6. I'm just healing from a cold. Last week I could not be here because of the cold. But I really thank God so very much for his healing powers. Hallelujah. We are reading Romans chapter 8. And from verse 6 we are reading, uh -huh. the Bible says, for to be carnally minded is death. If you are carnally minded, everything you think about is about the flesh. You are dead. Your spirit is already dead. Praise be to the Most High God. So we should not be carnally minded. We should be spiritually, everything should be about spiritual. Because I, I told you, this earth where we are, the life we are living is spiritual. We are spiritual beings. That's why you see, we, time will come, we will all die. When we die, our spirits will be living in another place. And these bodies will rot. But it is these bodies that are fighting our destiny, our spiritual beings. It is these bodies that are lasting for all sorts of evil things that are causing us to lose the journey. Hallelujah. We have a journey. And we have a map that the Lord gave us. That is his word. We need to follow the word and be stable in the word. Every word, the Bible says that heaven and earth will pass away. But none of the words, none of the promises will pass, pass away without being fulfilled. Sometimes you read a scripture. You read a prophecy that was in Isaiah in very many years away that you cannot even count. But it's being fulfilled in this season. People were surprised when COVID was coming. People were looking for scriptures to align themselves here and there. This Bible you see. It's not chronological, whatever, anything like any, anything written like any other book, just far, you know. It is written, but you see from Genesis to Revelation, it has the power and it aligns with each other. Praise be to, it doesn't contradict. Praise be to the Most High God. And everything in it will be fulfilled. So we should not live carnally. We are on the earth, the Bible tells us, that, but we, are not, we should not be like people who are ending life here. You know, because I've not gone to Miami, I've not gone to Hawaii, you know, I've not gone to Dubai, you know, I've not gone to this. I wanted my Christmas also to be like the other. It's okay. Calm down. Praise be to the Messiah. Let's continue reading our scripture. The Bible continues, mm -hmm. but to be spiritually minded is life and peace. To be spiritually minded will give you peace. So if you find yourself at a place where you, you're restless, you don't have peace, you're anxious, just know you're carnally minded. 
Even when a doctor brings a negative report, be spiritually minded. Align your situation with the word of God. What does the word of God say about that report? I remember it was 2020. They were going to do a C-section for my third born. I went to the hospital. They told me all sorts of words, but I looked for a scripture. Whenever I go through staff or situations, I look for a scripture that I can align, that I can pray in according to my situation. So I had to look in the Bible and I found Isaiah 66, verse 7 to 9. Praise be to the Most High God. I stood in that scripture and I said, God, the Bible says, if time for delivery will come, for childbirth, for giving birth will come, you will you not cause us to deliver? You will. So I got stuck to that scripture. And I prayed, I said, God, I don't want anything to tear this flesh. I don't want to be in pain. I don't want any wound. I don't want to see any sutures around me. And I prayed, praise be to the Most High God. And guess what? The Lord delivered me and I delivered normally. Praise be to the Most High God. Hallelujah. Let's wind up today. I just want to encourage you that you need to have your peace. This season and 2024. Some of us are missing out on the promises, on the things and the pro things that the Lord prepares us for this season and the next year and even the years you've lived because you lose your peace. You lose your mind. You'll speak negatively because somebody spoke negatively. You want to answer them according to the kind of way you, you know. Praise be to the Most High God. You're offended, easily offended because you're still in the canal. Praise be to the Messiah God. But let's go into the spiritual way. Let's be spiritually minded. Align yourself with the word of God. Hallelujah. I thank you so very much for being a part of this program. I know you were blessed. I'm blessed myself by sharing this. Nothing will take my peace. I'll be at peace in all seasons, in all storms, in all mountains, in all valleys. I'll be at peace. Praise be to the Most High God. I just want also to, remember, to remind you that as Jesus is Lord Fellowship back home in Uganda, we are in a, a 31 days of prayer and fasting, and we are fasting through the 31st of this year. We are winding up at Nakulabie, Kasawe, uh, Zone 4, uh, that uh, whatever. That playground will be there and will be ushered into the 2024 year, uh, the New Year's Eve by our own Reverend John Baker Katende. And we are joined together with our Disciples of Christ Church. We'll have fireworks that night. We'll have a lot of things that will be going on. So if you haven't yet joined us in prayer and fasting, it's never too late. You can join us. Like we've seen, we should be spiritually minded. Think about the spiritual. Don't think about the flesh. Don't think about what you're hearing. Don't think about what failed you. But think spiritually. You're going to overcome in Jesus' mighty name. Father, I give you glory. I give you honor. I magnify your name. I thank you for every man and woman that has tuned in today, King of Glory. I know a lot of things go through their lives, King of Glory. They find challenges. They find valleys. They find mountains. They find hills, King of Glory, Father. They find the traps that the enemy sets for them, King of Glory, from all corners, Lord, Father. But I ask you that gives peace that surpasses human understanding, King of Glory. May you dwell in them. The Bible tells us, Jesus Christ, that you are the Prince of Peace, King of Glory. And you said in your word that whatever thing we release on earth, it shall be released from heaven. King of Glory, I release that peace that surpasses human understanding to abide in these people's lives Lord Father. Where there are storms may you be with them and may they come to a point of knowledge to know that you're with them and you'll never forsake them as you promised us in your word in Isaiah 41 10 that we should not be discouraged because you're with us King of Glory. May you come every storm King of Glory. May you melt every mountain King of Glory. May you lift up every hedge that the enemy had set upon them King of Glory. Every hindrance and boundaries we break them and cast them into the lake of fire King of Glory Father. I set them free. May the sick be healed. May the weak be strengthened. Those that situations are cast down. The Bible says that when the world says that there's a casting down let the saints say there's a lifting up because you're the lift of men, King of Glory. I pray for an uplifting. I pray for an, an overflow. I pray for restoration. I pray, King of Glory, for a new season of new things that you're doing that eyes haven't seen and ears haven't heard. In the name of Jesus Christ, Father, Lord, I pray and believe. Amen and amen. Thank you so very much for tuning in. Let's go to the sanctuary for prayer. If you're around Massachusetts, please Please join us here at 34 in El Saco, Billy Rica. Your life will not remain the same. In Jesus' mighty name, I love you all. God bless you. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Amen.